Hello there, it's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com. I don't need my little piece of paper anymore. I learned how to make real uh, real subtitles, so that'll be fun. Um, hopefully everything works okay. My recording hasn't been going great this morning. I've had some like low FPS problems. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. But yeah, this, this weekend is a long weekend for us in the US, so I plan to get a lot done this week and a lot of shooting done if I can, uh, if the computers all cooperate here. <laughs> and uh, to prepare for that, I even went and got a new OneTouch out. I haven't opened it yet, but that's how confident I am we're going to get a real banger today. Is we're going to we're gonna get a card today that needs this. That's something I opened today will have. We'll need that. And definitely we're going to need more sleeves, so I got some sleeves out too. Got my regular stuff here too. Uh, so this is one, one of the things I want to open up today is another SCP box. So I have opened four total boxes so far, and they're each different, like completely different sets, different number sets and everything. Uh, although some are like reprints, this is a reprint set, uh, but it's still very different, you'll see. Um, so this would be box five that I've opened, and this one's kind of unique because it's a three UN box. Never heard, heard of that before. Actually seen that now, uh, I think Naruto is doing that now, but only in like the newest ones. And it's kind of like a price inflation, I think. But this is this is old, and they had 3 one back, three yen back then, as I guess because they're weird. I mean, if you know if you know this SCP series, everything about it is a little bit very strange, very odd stuff. Yeah. So anyway, this uh, is YCSR. One, which is a reprint, YCSR, R is the reprint for set one. They have a different, um, like a different border border treatment around them. I can show you that when I get to opening it. I'm not going to open it in this video. But the crazy thing about this box, see how big it is? It's also very heavy. Uh, there are 50, 50 packs in here with seven cards each. Oh my god, that's so much. Uh, so, yeah, there's like what uh 400 or some 400 plus cards inside of this it's insane um, i have two of these i have 100 packs of this i could open but yeah this is a very odd release i'm really curious to see what kind of stuff's in it and in fact i brought out a bunch of other scp packs i plan to do like an scp pack battle but again not now that's later these are two other things. I I tried to record the video where I unpackaged this because it arrived in the mail, but unfortunately it just did. Like that video didn't turn out. The FPS was horrible, and I didn't notice until I was about halfway through. So uh, too bad. But yeah, this box is awesome. Like one, it's super shiny, like a mirror. But two, it's got that kind of special that like shading on it and stuff that makes it look like the characters. Uh, really popping out the front. Very cool. And anyway, this is Neon Genesis Evangelion, which is, uh, you know, like a, a, a dramatic anime with these big robot people. Uh, I have a few of the model kits. They make, uh, Bandai makes Gunpla model kits of these robots. And I have a few suits, mech suits, alien suits. I don't know what those, Evangelions. <laughs> And they, they kind of defend their city and stuff. Anyway, there it is again. Un, really unsure exactly what this is. Oh, I guess there is labeling. I was going to say there's no labeling on it, but here's some. So you got 12 and 1. So it's kind of got that Star Wars configuration to it pack-wise. But otherwise, yeah, I, I would have to translate that later. I'm not sure who the manufacturer is. It looks different than the Star Wars box. I don't think it's that. Uh, but yeah, this box is super shiny. If I hold it the wrong way, you'll be able to see my face. Don't do that. Anyway, here you go. We're going to open that later. And this one's also kind of interesting. Uh, so I have, a, I have a few other One Piece boxes. Uh, the normal ones, like um, Little Dinosaur makes some, and, and those normal, like, one, one Young boxes. But this is a special set that came out with and uh, I decided to, to pick it up. It's got 11 packs in it, so it's going to be 10 in one hit if I had to guess. 
and kind of interesting is it has that same box style as we've now seen in Star Wars and we saw it in DCEU, like that same style. So we'll see if the cards are the same and if the tray is the same and stuff. I'll try to figure out what that all means. But anyway, this is One Piece Grand Line. Sort of their special set or something. I'm not sure. I kind of like most things that kind of got at random. But, but we'll open that later too. But as you know, it is, uh, as you might know, it's Saturday morning, which means it's time for some coffee. And to make things super weird for everybody, we're going to do something very, very different and very strange. Strange for me, strange generally. It's going to be, it's going to get weird. So as you can see up in the corner there, we're going to do WWE Cards and Coffee. And I have this uh, NXT 2.0 box by Panini. Um, you'll never guess, but I bought this because it was very cheap. <laughs> I think I got it for $40 or something like that. Uh, there's a lot in here, 24 packs, 8 cards each, apparently an autograph and a memorabilia card on average, so I might not get those. It's some officially licensed by Panini, and it's got all the security stuff on it. But this will be the first Panini hobby box I've opened. I've opened, obviously, their Warhammer cards, but that's their, like a different retail configuration, and those are UK retail product, or this is a US retail product. So technically this would be my first Panini retail product from the US. But yeah, and I don't plan to open all these or anything like that. Uh, it's mostly just here to be a little strange, change things up a bit, give me some cards to compare other cards against. Uh, so that that's kind of why I have this. I don't personally watch any wrestling anymore. Uh, I used to when I was very young, so <laughs> I don't know anything about this brand. I think it's some kind of, uh, like they're up and coming ones maybe or something. I I'm not sure. Uh, my brother, but you know, my brother is like one of the foremost experts on wrestling trivia in the world. And that's not, not joking about that at all. He knows everything. Um, Okay, so let's see what we got here. So here's a label. Well, it's going to be a 125 card set, 100 base and 25 alumni. So I guess it's people who were on this NXT series and then maybe moved up. Like I said, I think it's kind of like a minor leagues. And then we've got all the odds here. So yeah, I mean, actually these odds aren't horrible. Um, you got like a 199 to 1. Oh no, that's the numbering. Oh, good lord. Okay, they don't actually have the odds listed on here then. Oops. Okay, so they just have, they just list all the numbering cards. So I actually don't know how good the odds are on this. I actually don't know how to open this either. Here it goes. Yeah, here we go. Okay. And then maybe you would, uh, don't do this with my anime life, but I will do that with Western. There you go. <laughs> so, I don't know what Panini was thinking, because the packs are the wrong way, but it sort of works, right? So he's, um, again, I don't know, but this very strong person here is Braun Breaker. So the strong looking lady is Mandy Rose. Those probably aren't their real names. Or what do I know? That could be their real name. But... Anyway, here goes. So you got some uh, very, very shiny packs here. There should be, yeah, 24 of them in this box. And honestly, they're thick. Like big, thick packs. Uh, I don't, wow. I don't think I've ever seen one quite that thick before. Uh, but why don't we go ahead and open, what do you think, like three of these today might be interesting? Let's, I'll, I'll, put, I'll take three out, and if I get bored or this doesn't go well, I'll put them away. But uh, assuming the codes are any of any interest at all, we'll do all three. So, I 
maybe put this over here for now uh, so you can sort of see what I was doing. So we'll put these here. And I just, because they're Western cards, and this is cards and coffee, it's sort of an informal thing. I'm not going to, uh, I don't think I'll do the whole randomization on these. We'll just pick one at random. Uh, you know, how about we'll, we'll open the middle one first for best tradition around here, as you know. Forgive me, I do have to drink my coffee too. Yeah, it's my uh, Kylo Ren book. I don't have a Kylo Ren trading card yet. I have a lot of those to talk about too. The whole man. Uh, yeah, I did a I did a break with. Bullpen Alley and Body Star Wars Chrome 2023 box. Another one, because I have my own, but I bought one from them. And I had them break it and bend it. It's an awesome job. It's amazing. I'll show you all that stuff later. Okay, so I guess there were, like it said, there were gonna be uh, eight eight cards in each of these. So yeah, looks like we're gonna have eight in there. Take this out. Okay, that's empty here. And then, yeah, I don't know if I these are these are just kind of uh, paper like cardboard. They're very thin cardboard. I think this is a a really like a low end retail product for them. So these aren't going to be like those nice plastic cards that you'll get with a uh, Crown Royale or something like that. These are paper cards and very, uh, I'm going to say very cheap feeling. And there's not, there's a little bit of emboss here, but not much else. Uh, and this, this person, I guess is, I can't even read it, but not like, blurred. oh, it's easier to read on the back, I guess. So they, there you go. That's a base. And I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to sleeve these right now or do it. I'm not going to make you do that. I'm going to make you sit through that. This is, Mako Septomora? Oh yeah, okay, so I had heard that this, they had like a trademark dispute with this NXT, and so they ended up partnering with some UK group, NXT UK, uh, and so the the cards kind of uh, include both, both sets. Um, you know, actually I feel horrible, I'm going to go and sleep these, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know me, I can't uh, Trying to make sure I have the right. Oh yeah. Okay. So I put the other sleeves with the bigger, so I wouldn't make that mistake again. I don't know if you remember, but last weekend I accidentally sleeved a bunch in hundred point sleeves, and then I just had to spend like twenty minutes on sleeving all those. Okay. So I'm sleeving them because they feel so cheap, and these sleeves are like less than a penny each. So uh, these are Ultra Pro sleeves. I just bought like a 500 pack from them. And I bought another one. They're doing a Memorial Day sale right now. 20% off pretty much everything. So I bought some more sleeves, brought some more top loaders. And I don't get paid to say that in case anyone's wondering. I don't know. <laughs> Never offered me any money and I don't think I'd accept it anyway. Uh, but yeah, they, I don't get paid to say that. I just their their stuff's good, consistently really good. I've only had like one bad top loader the whole time I've worked with them. That shit's really strong. Uh, this again, UK. And I guess oh, I guess this is like rookie rookie card. So I don't know if that I don't know if that means much, but there you go. Uh, and here's Tyler. Tyler Bate. So my plan after this is to kind of uh, send this video to my brother <laughs> and see and see what he thinks or if he knows any of these. And then maybe because he does a lot of uh, video production too of his own, maybe I can uh, convince him to come do like one of these with me. And we can do like a bro a brother thing where I open these and try to guess what it is or something he tells me what it actually is because he would know he would like this like I don't even know who this person is at all uh, they look very strong and uh, another rookie one I guess the name is 
Saxon Hooksit. I doubt that's the real name. Another UK one. He, he might not know the UK ones, but the US ones he would almost certainly know. He'd know everything about them. He'd know like, a shocking number of things. Pharaohs, I guess. Pharaohs? Okay, well that might be... Well, there's supposed to be some sort of parallel in each pack. I don't know if this is one or the next one will be one, but this looks like it has a different color border, like a gold border. So that might be some kind of, uh, some kind of parallel. Oh, this card is featured on the box somewhere, so I think this card might be... Maybe this is like one of the kits in the set or something. I don't think it's, it doesn't feel special, it looks that special, so I don't think it's a rare parallel. It's definitely not numbered, so it's not like a super rare card, but I think this Becky Lynch is very popular or something, I don't know. You know who that is, let me know. My brother almost certainly knows who that is. <laughs> oh, I bet this is like alumni, because it, this has like Tudo, and this has maybe, I don't know, I'm guessing. Oh, and says an upside down card, maybe? Oh, it has a date on it. Okay, it's got a highlight. Uh, okay, so I guess this is like a, a fight, a match that they had, and this might be the date that that match happened. Interesting. Yeah, interesting um, set here. I always joke whenever I uh, post about these online because people don't expect this from me because I mostly do, you know, I'm mostly doing Chainsaw Man and Dragon Ball, One Piece and SCP and like these kind of weird AliExpress cards. But uh, I collect these personally as well, many different types. And so, uh, you know, I, I collect this kind as well, many different kinds of wrestling cards. And someday I'll show you the really nice ones. Uh, yeah, this Panini makes super high quality PVC cards too, not just these paper ones. But this is a again, this one's just for fun, just a cheap little fun product. Uh, yeah, like I said, maybe forty dollars for this whole box. You get so many cards. So. No, they're not. I don't think that would be worth anything to anyone. Yeah, so we got another, another, another very strong lady, Zoe Stark. Oh, that one looks cool. Let me uh, drink some more coffee here. It's almost 20 minutes. My goal today is to try and do box openings in 15 minutes or less. I don't want to have to do any editing, but I might do like different takes if I can't get it that low. If you know me, I talk way too much as we're doing right now. And I take way too long to open stuff and look at the base and <laughs> crazy. It's especially weird because like when I did the break with bullpen, um, I recorded it all. So I'll be able to show you some of the video later. But then... <laughs> Ben got through that whole box in seven minutes. And he was going slow, like he was talking about cards and showing stuff and like explaining some of this, uh, cause we got like a 40th anniversary one in there and stuff. And he was explaining all that, but he still took him seven minutes to get through the entire box. Which shouldn't surprise me because immediately before he did my break, he was doing a, oh, this is another, I don't know. I guess it's just a cool looking card. <laughs> Cruz del Toro. That's awesome. Man, that guy can jump. Uh, yeah, so anyway, he, was, he was doing like a, I don't know, a division break, I guess, on a whole case of something. Uh, cards, maybe? I can't remember. Some sports cards that I didn't understand. I, I love collecting them. Don't know anything about it. Never watched any of this. Don't know anything about any of this. Uh, still think it's really cool and will definitely collect these. 
Well, not this set. I'm never going to buy this one again. This is very cheap. I don't think I'll get this ever again, but... Um, definitely the, the prism or mosaic cards are so nice. Just really nice to feel and hold. The print quality on these is still really good. I have no complaints about that. It does seem like there's a lot of cards in each pack because there's eight, but uh, it seems like more. Well, this must be another alumni one. Maybe I should put those to the side. Maybe this highlights one was important too. I don't know. Here I am trying to guess at what, uh, at like what's cool and what's not in this set. Here we go. Here we go. I did go and look at. Uh, there's a website called Cardboard Connection, which has all the odds and checklists for everything, even stuff like this. So uh, they they kind of explained what was in this but my understanding of this is uh this is a numbered card but still i don't think any of these are really worth much well that's a very thick card though look at that so this might be a oh, okay so yeah this is what's called a memorabilia card in this set but really it's a, a we, we would think of it as a relic card generally <clears throat> and when we say relic we mean that the card has something in it so here's the Doraemon relic I have, and it has a film cell from the animation inside the card, right? And that's also numbered to 118. I would say this is the lowest numbered I own, but I actually have a better one than this to show you later, but I won't show it to you right now. So let's see, it says here, the enclosed superstar worn used material is guaranteed. Okay. But like, what is it? I don't know what that is. Is that like part of his wristband, maybe? Yeah, it's part of the wristband. That's kind of what it looks like. Uh, oh, this might need a hundred points. So you... <laughs> I don't know if it's okay in this. Oh, it's just tight, but if it's kind. Well, that's actually, you know, yeah, whatever. That's kind of cool. Kind of neat. I'm not going to put it in a, a fun touch, but kind of an interesting thing to have. And if the label on the box is any indicator, that's the only one I'm going to find. So the rest of us are kind of dead packs now. The, the good lesson to you, actually, uh, never buy loose packs on eBay because, you know, someone less scrupulous than myself could do that, pull like the hit from the box, and then just sell all the rest of the packs. Right? And you know that they're all kind of cold in that none of them likely to have another one of those. I mean, there won't be. There could be two in there. It's very unlikely, right? Especially if I also pull the auto at some point, then the rest of the packs are just like dead, dead, dead packs. But I, I don't, I won't, I, I would never do that. It's very cool, though. Uh, my brother might be, I don't know if that person is. <laughs> well, I guess it's a UK one again, so he probably won't know, but it would be interesting. Oops. Okay. Let's pack here. More like this. So I guess I should have looked at the side because clearly you could tell that that was in a pack because it, it would be a very thick card, which I guess there's another one in here maybe. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, well. Sorry guys, I think I'm going to pull all the hits here, uh, all at once. So why don't we go like this? <laughs> Maybe they put the hits right on top. It gets people excited, I don't know. Maybe I just got super lucky. That is a cool picture. Like she's like sleeping, like pretending to sleep. That's cute. I do too. Yeah, I just don't know who. I don't think these are very famous wrestlers, because again, I think this NXT is sort of the uh, up-and-coming one. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually a dupe already. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. 
Oh, geez. I'm sorry. All you wrestlers look the same to me. Uh, so this is not a dupe. This is a completely different person? No, I swear we had this one already. Oh, no. Uh, I guess that's who I had, but this is a different person. Wild Boar. All right, so no, no dupes yet. Wild Boar, okay. Wild Boar, he looks wild. I've made a mess here of my cards. Sorry about that. I'll do a split afterwards. <laughs> Again, probably no one else. No one, certainly no one subscribed to this channel probably cares at all about this or is interested in this at all, but, uh, you know what? It's my channel. I can do what I want. I'm going to show these cards. Please don't unsubscribe, though, because uh, I promise we'll get the other stuff to today. But you, there will be plenty today that you're going to like. Don't worry. Even if you don't like this, I will not do more than one of these a day. I promise. Probably not more than one a weekend. Because personally, like, I'm more excited about the other stuff, too. Although, honestly, pulling that was pretty fun. Like, that's pretty good. I'll put that in my hip. I'll put that in my hip binder. Right next to, like, a PR JoJo with Star's, Star's Adventure. Someday I'll be at a show, I'll open that binder up, and someone's just going to look at me and be like, you're the weirdest, weirdest person I've ever met. And I'll say, thank you. Thank you. Because that's, that's what I'm going for. Now that's a picture. I am not going to say anything more about that picture, but that is a picture. This is so cool, right? It's kind of fun, exciting, uh, interesting little stuff here. And none of it is too serious or anything like that. What I really want to do is I, they make a set, uh, They Panini makes a set for all their things. Uh, for their basketball, for their football, for their... I don't think I'll ever get it, but for their NASCAR. Although, man, my brother loves NASCAR, too. I bet that, I bet that would work as well. But yeah, anyway, yeah, he loves that as well. But they make a... Sorry, they make a series called Chronicles. And it's really interesting because what they do in Chronicles is they include cards from all of their other releases of that year. So you can buy like a Chronicles box and pull, you know, like a Crown Royale card out of it, which would be like a $80 card on its own. Uh, the thing is, it won't be a good one because it'll be a sort of their leftovers, right? Things that no one was buying, basically. This is something, I don't know what that is, something interesting right here for sure. I mean, what, it's blank. Why would it be blank? Maybe it's a redemption? I just said timed redemptions. I think this has redemptions. All right, well, let's see what this is. Oh, there's actually two things here. Okay, it's a... Um, what am I... What am I looking at here? Uh, does anyone know what this is? Is this something they put in just so that people can't weigh packs, maybe? Or was it like, is it just to protect that? It's probably to protect that. I bet it's so that people can't weigh packs because... Yeah, it's like a blank so that you... I'm going to, have to go online and figure out what this is. Or if you know, tell me if that's like common in these kinds of things. This is the first one I've opened. So if that's common in this type of thing, let me know. But I'll research what that is. Because I'm guessing it's there to prevent people from stealing cards or something. But yeah, this is obviously some sort of a hit. I know this red border means something. And you're numbered to 199. Damon Kim. Interestingly, though, there's like no foil... It's just printed color, color printing, and then like some emboss and a stamp here. But, but no foil on any of these. But again, this is like their lowest end retail product, so it's not gonna have anything like that. And here we are at 30 minutes. 
Um, I don't know, I guess that was one of the coolest cards. That would be a cool card. Yeah, I guess these two cards here are probably the coolest. That's to 99. That's to 199. Three packs. I did not find the auto yet. There's an auto in here too, apparently. Yeah, let's look kind of all those all at once here. Like I said, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll link this over to my brother and see if he recognizes or knows about any of this stuff or any of these people. It's great to uh, great to try to drink coffee with you all. I'm gonna put this to the side and get ready to. Well, we're gonna look at SCP cards next. I'm gonna pop open that SCP pack. Uh, okay, so let me get this uh, organized, uh, get it out of the way and organized a bit, and then we'll crack open some SCPs. Okay, awesome. See you soon.